a lot of people has been asking me what I've been doing all winter and spring. Well, here's what I've been spending my time on. Me and my boys made this plow bracket to fit the old 1960 or 55 tractor. And we bought this plow at an auction. As you can see right down here from the frame back here it was bent and broke and on that side from there back it was bent and broke so we had to cut that part off and put new pieces of angle iron on there and then we made this bracket here to fasten on to the tractor and hold the hydraulic cylinder. I can take the uh, plow off real quick by pulling these uh, pins. And right now I got a bolt in the lift chain. I'm going to eventually put a quick connect on that chain. But by pulling them pins and pulling that bolt out, I can drop the snow plow real quick. Then I made it to the push arms, come back here, push off of the rear end so that uh, nice and strong. I still need to paint the top of uh, my push arm brackets. And I need to paint some more of my bracketry up front here. But uh, paint is uh, something that can come on a nicer, nice days. I needed to hurry up and get this plow built. I started on it in December, and uh, it's eight foot wide. It'll plow a big path of snow. It's been well tested this winter. We had lots of snow. Uh, <clears throat> then my next project on the same tractor now there's my hydraulic lines going up to the hydraulic cylinder to make it lift up nice. My next project on this same tractor is I bought a winch uh, I basically bought this part right here and with no cable on it. When I bought it, it had uh, 15 coats of paint on it and 15 layers of grease and oil on it. Uh, I, I tore the winch completely apart, uh, put new bearings and seals in it. And then I made these brackets uh, to hold the winch on. Uh, what I use this for is to pull logs. And I'll show you after a while. The shiny painted brackets are new. Uh, they're the ones that I just made uh, to adapt to the tractor and then it hooks into the PTO right down in there hooks up to the PTO of the tractor and uh, I really just played with it one day on one log to see how it pulls and it's strong as an ox and then of course I made uh, teeth on a bracket down here so that I can sink that into the ground off of my fast hitch and that'll keep the tractor from sliding backwards this is when I engage the uh, winch so that's what I've been working on so I'll show you a little demonstration of the uh, snow plow how 
it works. the bracketry right here and uh, it's up in here to put hydraulic cylinders on. Give me a power angle. Right now it's uh, about $300 put that power angle on and um, the boys mostly use the tractor they do most of the plowing so right now they can get off the tractor and power or angle with the blade okay we'll go down uh, into the mud pit and Maybe pull some law. The, uh, turn the winch on and then uh, turn the PTO on. Start pulling the cable. 